everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be learning how to make a homemade light bulb. So first, let's talk about a regular light bulb, right? And the main components that we're going to be focusing on recreating. Uh, so a light bulb is usually composed of a glass outer shell, which is like a glass dome. It is clear so the light can shine through it. Um, it is connected in a circuit. So we do have some support wires that come up and will hold the filament. Now filaments are usually uh, made out of some kind of tungsten material. We're not gonna be using tungsten today. I'll show you in a second what we're gonna be using. Uh, but we are gonna have our very own filament. And um, regular light bulbs do have inert gases filled in them. We're not gonna be using any gases today. We're just gonna be using regular air because this is just a fun one that we can do really quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our materials. So the materials that we're gonna need today are listed here. You're gonna need some wires, just alligator clip wires work the best. Graphite lead. Now this is just for a um, mechanical pencil. I've used all different sizes and they all work fine. So whatever you have on hand is gonna work. Um, glass jar. I just bought a really big glass jar from the dollar store. It works perfectly fine. Some batteries. Um, the, the, the more the better, right? So I have some six volt batteries. I am using three and connected in series. It will work with just one or two, but you're gonna get a brighter light bulb if you use three. Um, you're gonna use a plate for the bottom base, and then you need some kind of stand. I use bubbles, cause that's what I had on hand. You just need some kind of jar. You can even use um, a toilet paper holder, like the toilet paper roll, um, just to tape your um, alligator clip wires to you to hold your filament. So this is what's gonna actually turn into your light bulb. Take a second and look at how I wire this up. So we're gonna put our filament right across these alligator clips and I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a second here. But all I did was I taped it straight up so it would be elevated in the air and then I've connected everything in the series um, from one battery to the next battery to the next battery. Notice it's not connected right now, of course, but it will be when we turn it on. So let me show you how we do our filament. So when you look at the filament, you're just gonna get a piece of that graphite lead and you're going to connect it straight across. It is okay if a little bit hangs off each side, that's no big deal at all. And when you connect this um, right in series, go ahead and connect it to your battery last and immediately put your glass dome over top of your filament and um, it will begin to smoke, don't be alarmed, okay? It will smoke a little bit. Um, and then what will happen is your students will be able to see all of the filament turn from a bright red to orange to yellow to white, and then it will start accumulating and fill the room with light before it um, pops open, because it's really just burning up the graphite lead. So it will pop open and open up the circuit so electricity is no longer flowing. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and connect our battery in series. You can see immediately that our filament will glow that red and start smoking. Again, don't be alarmed, this is to be expected. It will turn orange next. And remember that this is a video in real time. So this is a very quick moving experiment. Um, it is done in the dark. So whatever light's being produced is coming directly from our light bulb here. And you can see that it's turning that yellow to white and it is going to fill the room before it pops open and opens our circuit concluding the light bulb lab. So I hope this video was helpful and that you guys learned so much from it. Um, I do wanna caution you though, lab safety is something that everybody needs to be familiar with and take into account. So make sure that you do not try to do this experiment on your own. Make sure that you do this experiment with a teacher's help or a parent supervision. Um, most definitely electrical fires are very dangerous and we wanna make sure that we are using all of our lab safety rules at all times. Um, please go ahead and subscribe for some more Science Explained videos, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.